Hello. How are you? Good. Okay. Uh, welcome to the uh, Economic Diplomacy Integrity Forum in San Jose. Buenos dias uh, to everyone for coming. Uh, we are very excited for this event, especially because it's the first time we're having this EDI forum in Costa Rica. Uh, I'd first like to say thank you to our supporters, the Foundation for International Christian Democratic Development that helped to make this possible, to the Forum for Leadership and Reconciliation, which is EDI's umbrella organization, and to the Christian Professionals Movement Platform for Christian Politics for their partnership. I'd also like to thank um, the EDI team in Costa Rica. Some are now uh, good friends, and I hope the rest will become good friends. Um, they are wonderful people who I'm sure will make this a great time for all of you and have been working very hard. Thank you as well to the speakers that have come, uh, and you'll see that they're going to be amazing and inspiring, and um, I'm really excited for, for them. I know many of them personally. Finally, thank you to Dennis, who is an amazing guy. Uh, and without his and his wife's heart uh, for wanting to see this country transformed and his passion for Jesus and his kingdom, uh, this would not be possible. So thank you to Dennis. Uh, EDI was born out of the prayer of two friends as a response to what to do to help uh, Southeast Europe, actually, after the wars were over in the 90s, and there was an apparent economic and political need to rebuild the nations of that region, and now it has started to move on from there um, uh, in other places like Latin America. The solution that came uh, to us uh, that God, I think, gave, he said, you know, let's apply, I thought, let's apply Jesus's life and principles to change our nations in the fields of economics, politics, and relationships between ethnic groups and nations. Principles like integrity, moral leadership, service to the community, a focus on the poorest and their needs, faith and transparency can help combat the Goliaths of corruption, selfishness, youth un hopelessness, debilitating unemployment, and abject poverty. Our hope is that when these experiences and principles are applied, that they will end up changing and developing the region, this country and others, not just in terms of economic growth. Lots of people commit, made economic growth, right? Hitler even got economic growth. That's not what we're looking for totally. We're looking for the creation of a community of leaders committed to good economics and politics, and most importantly, to each other and to God. Following his way, God's way, Jesus' way, together we want to develop visions for change using new tools, new ideas, and new hope. And we want to do this as co-workers and as friends. I believe that this is what the Economic Diplomacy Integrity Forum will do in Costa Rica as well. Dennis and his team has taken this fire for transformation and they have given it to you. And I want to do that throughout this whole day that you guys will receive this fire to change, to make a change for the nation, that I believe that Jesus wants each and every one of you to do. I believe that God will have you be miracles to change the nation. That's why you're here. There is no coincidence that you're here in this room because God wants to give you that fire and to transform you and to send you out. You're not, if you're here just to be idle, you know, <laughs> that's not gonna happen, okay? The fire is going to catch you, and I believe that. So don't sit idle. Don't be passive while this corruption, poverty, unemployment, social ills, criminals, and things like that grip our lands and destroy our people. We are at a crucial time. We may be, you know, at the end times. I don't know. But we are at a crucial time. The time is now. And so let's take hold of this hope together. It doesn't take many of us. It really doesn't. It takes a willingness. It takes a willingness. So let's take hold of the hope and friendship, opening our minds, expending our arms in friendship and love, and letting our creative ideas and love flow together. Thank you very much.